Today's video, um, we're getting close. We're 27 days away from moving from California to Tennessee. That blows my mind because I think you guys remember I was in the 70s and now we're in the 20s. So it's getting really real. Uh, today's thoughts are just on the loose ends, but they're very important loose ends. One of them being health insurance. Right now I have a really good health insurance with my school district and what happens when that comes to an end. So I'm having to figure out and calling and trying to figure out what happens after my last day. That's huge because you guys know health insurance is huge as far as having it versus not having it. So that's a number one item. A number two item is just the nostalgic feeling I get when I just start driving around knowing that I don't have much time left in California. So I'll drive and look at the mountains, the, the trees, the hills, and I just go, I don't have many more days of seeing this anymore. I mean, not that I'm not going to see hills and mountains, but just the way that I see it today, you know, the way I've always seen it for the last 15 years where we've been living right now, just, you know, I don't, I don't ever take it for granted, but just the view that I see, just knowing I won't see that coming very soon. So there's just a lot of thoughts going through my head. Um, but I just know that when we start to get to those, the teens, uh, you know, 13 days left, eight days left, it's just going to start to get overwhelming as far as thoughts, feelings, uh, busyness. Uh, do we have everything, you know, squared away? So it's nice right now, not that we're not still kind of in panic mode, but it's not to the point where we're like, ah. So I just, I'm really thankful for this channel and all of you guys watching because it allows me to express a lot of these feelings. Not that I don't express it to my wife or my family, but there's a lot of things that I might just think to myself that I'm saying right here that it just comes out spontaneously where I might not just, you know, tell my family every single thought. Um, so it, it, I just appreciate you guys, this channel, this platform to be able to share things. Um, still, I'm a little concerned about the job, but I'm still giving that to God. Um, it. I think I've told you guys this before, you know, I watch a lot of sports and when, you know, a baseball player, a basketball player, if other teams know that that person's going to be moving on to some other place, you know, they're like, Hey, we need to, we need to snatch this guy up. We need to, you know, offer this person more money, something. And I, I sometimes feel that that's the way it is with teaching. And I'm like, yeah, right. It's not that way. Uh, but you always want to feel like you're wanted and, I've been sending out tons of applications and not necessarily that they don't want me, but maybe they're just not at the stage where they feel like they need to hire people. And so it's just going to be a little weird if we get to the point that we're heading out of the state and I'm still looking for a job. Um, obviously, the perfect scenario would be I have a job and then we go, but I kind of have already thought in my head that's not necessarily a guarantee and it's going to be super, you know, putting our trust in God that we leave without having a job and just going, hey, Lord, we trust you that you'll provide where you're leading us. So that's that's another thing that's always just going through my mind, like checking my emails. Did did this, you know, school get my application? Uh, are they going to give me a call back? Hey, how come it's crickets? How come I'm not hearing anything? And I think. I feel God quietly saying, stop stressing out about this. It's almost like the kids when you're driving in the car, and they're like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? When are we going to get there? And you know, you're just driving going, well, you just chill out and enjoy the ride. Look out the window, enjoy it. You know, enjoy the journey as you get there. But that's easier said than done. So, uh, you know, we... If you're going to be making that move, you're going to go through your days where you're chill and you're like, everything's going to be okay. And then the next day it's like, whoa, what's going on here? So you're going to have your days and that's what 
I've been having. I've been having my days where you just, everything's good, you're confident. The next day it's like, what are we going to do? And it just, every day is a little different. So, uh, so we have, you know, certain ideas, certain plans. Uh, we're selling a lot of stuff. We're getting rid of a lot of stuff. We're making sure our trash can is full every week because we just want to get to the point where we're, we don't want to panic about stuff. We have that 28 foot U pack and we're just going and we have, we're going to be taking three cars with us. So we're just making sure that we get rid of the things we really don't want or need because we know space is going to be a premium. So a lot of stuff guys. And I'm thankful that you guys are with me. I will be catching you guys on my Sunday video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and that bell to follow along as we get closer to this move. Okay, guys, thank you. I'll see you in my next video.